Hello, my name is Leopoldo Armesto and in this presentation I'm going to introduce the EcoThings project. EcoThings actually is an acronym for Innovative Environmental Technological to Improve Learning Outcomes Among Students at Risk of Social Exclusion. This is a project that has been founded uh, by the Erasmus Plus project of the European Commission. So this is the outline of the presentation. First I'm going to introduce uh, or the motivation and the background uh, in which we have uh, based uh, the, the, the developments of our project. Then I will introduce the partnership of the project and the aims of the project, some additional activities that are, uh, let's say, uh, related with, with, uh, with the development of the project. And I will going to focus or present uh, the, the, the results that we have obtained uh, on the project. So, uh, as you may know, uh, the educational system is becoming outdated and the reason for that is because in many cases um, uh, the content-based curriculum is not helping to develop natural skills and particularly soft skills. And in many cases there, there's uh, the, the assessment it's made uh, or it's, it's followed by considering a summative assessment but not a formative assessment. And you also uh, one of other, the motivations to, to, you know, to develop this project was because of the, the hinge between the digital technology and the access to it and the understanding of this technology. And this was particularly relevant for groups at risk of social exclusion. And we consider or we believe that in this case STEAM projects uh, can help to understand real life problem, problems from a holistic point of view. So that will be the, 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 the one of the approaches that we are going to follow. And uh, basically these kind of projects, they, they promote the use of complementary skills by developing the projects involving different kind of uh, or knowledge of uh, areas. So in the project, we are five partners. Um, we are the Technical University of Valencia or UPB. And there's also a primary school here in Spain, which is called Santiago Apostol. And there's a private company in Cyprus, which is uh, basically an expertise in, uh, in the environment within the uh, education. And there's also a private company in Romania, which is a technological uh, partner uh, specialized in IoT solutions, which is Wildrin. And then also, there's also uh, the last partner, uh, it's from Turkey. And it's a high school, it's known as Tafen. And, and these are the project aims. Uh, basically, what we like to uh, uh, innovate uh, the education based or using the STEAM uh, philosophy. And for that, we are trying to improve uh, students' soft skills by promoting the, the understanding of not only the technological part, but also uh, development of. Uh, and soft skills. Um, particularly in the project we have uh, designed and implemented a prototype of an intelligent house which is aimed at uh, the climate change and as a result of this, uh, this prototype and the project we are, have implemented uh, technical and pedagogical guidelines in order for you to uh, understand how we suggest to implement or reproduce these results. And uh, of course, one of the aims of the project uh, is to improve the digital skills of the students involved, and particularly students that belong to families uh, at serious risk of social exclusion. So along the project, we have done different kind of activities. One of them, or uh, due to the, 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 the Erasmus Plus pro uh, program, are known as uh, LTTAs or learning and training teaching activities that imply some mobilities between uh, partners. And the first mobility we, we made was between, let's say, the teachers from schools. Uh, they came here to the UPB and they received training from um, uh, the UPB and also the, 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 the Wild Green uh, company uh, about Internet of Things, 3D printing, laser cutting, uh, electronics, uh, programming, uh, using uh, block programming tools in this case, and so on. This was a, uh, once the project result first and, and the first and second project results were finished that I'm going to present now. And then the second uh, mobility 
was about the students that were actually moved from uh, Turkey to Spain here. So the Turkish schools visit the Spanish uh, school and the Turkish students were teaching indeed, were uh, teaching how to uh, reproduce uh, or to implement the intelligent house to the Spanish students. That was part of the implementation of the Vygotsky uh, theory of social learning. And of course, in the, in the project, we also have uh, developed different kind of multiplier events in which each partner has to disseminate uh, the results of the project. And these are indeed the results of the project. We have four main uh, project results. The first one was related with developing a prototype and that was in the end ended in an in a intelligent house. And the second one was developing tools for block programming uh, aimed uh, to these electronics. The third one was about implementing guidelines uh, for the pedagogical methodologies uh, mainly aimed for primary and secondary schools. And the fourth pre uh, project result was uh, basically to develop an e-learning platform in which you can access to all the multimedia contents that we have developed along the project. So, uh, when we started the project, we uh, came up with different uh, kind of, let's say, crazy ideas and preliminary ideas in which we try to, uh, based on our motivation and background, uh, we try to uh, set, let's say, brainstorming of these ideas by developing low-cost uh, projects that could be implemented at schools. And we came with different uh, ideas such as a greenhouse or uh, providing some kind of intelligent or echo lights or a weather station in which we can monitor, let's say, the, the pollution, air pollution or um, sound pollution as well. Also, some crazy ideas about, uh, uh, let's say, storing uh, solar energy using a solar tree or solar bench or to save some energy, particularly, let's say, in the cities, uh, uh, to, to, let's say, go in dark mode in which we can put some kind of glowing materials along the streets and so on. And for that, we were considering uh, also even uh, to, to be able to, to implement or to drive, let's say, vehicles, in this case, a scooter, without producing uh, light pollution and try to, 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 to be able to, to, to see at night using, uh, in this case, uh, infrared camera. But in the end, all these ideas, they sum up or end in what we know as an intelligent house. And this house is divided in three main rooms or stances. There's a living room in which our uh, target or uh, our purpose was to is to implement, indeed, a temperature control. So we can save, by implementing some kind of um, energy saving policies, we can save uh, money and, of course, energy uh, by properly combining uh, different kind of uh, temperature uh, actuators. And we also have a bedroom in which we have uh, implemented some electronics to regulate or um, save energy uh, because of the light, but also we are detecting the sound of the environment and we can uh, try to isolate the, the bedroom, which is a place to, to rest. and uh, We can isolate it uh, from external uh, noises. And here in the kitchen, uh, here in the kitchen, uh, sorry, uh, we are implementing or detecting fire and smoke and generating uh, proper alarms for that. So in, along the project, as part of the project result too, we have developed uh, programming tools and we have actually developed two tools that aim at different kind of electronics but basically we have worked on one tool which is known as Fatalino that we're going to explain in this in this course but also uh, the Wild Rain Studio tool that we, it's aimed mainly for Raspberry Pi Pico electronics. As part of the, the Progress Tool 3 uh, we have developed a pedagogical guideline in which uh, you can find it uh, in the URL that I'm, uh, I'm showing here. And uh, this is basically an ebook that explains how to implement and reproduce this kind of project from a pedagogical point of view. How to implement it in your, in your uh, uh, of course you can adapt it to your own needs. And in Progress Result 4, basically what we have done is this 
MOOC course and also uh, prepare a, a website in which we have put all the um, uh, resources that we have developed in uh, along the project and of course we have uh, also some social net, uh, networks that you can follow us uh, by scanning these uh, QR codes. Okay, so in this presentation I have introduced the EcoThings uh, project. Thank you very much.